feel blessed to be here. I feel blessed to have you guys as my friends, and I'm I'm less, I'm blessed. God's good to us, ain't he? He's real good to us. Better than what we can ever imagine. All the times that that we've been in trouble and didn't even know it that he's bailed us out that uh, we may never know nothing about. But he's done it and he's been there, ain't he? Never will forget when I got saved. I felt like the, the world was lifted off of me. Couldn't sleep, miserable. I'd pray of a night that the light show would go, would still be on. I'd go to sleep before it went off because I was so miserable. I didn't, I wanted sound around me. And then when I got saved that night, I just went on the bed. <laughs> went to sleep. Amen. Praising the Lord. I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but now, when you get saved and your heart gets right, it's more than just a little who do here and a this, that, and other. There's more to it than joining the church, more to it than shaking hands with one of us preachers, or more to it than going to Alder and kneeling down and a praying, and all that may be well and good in its place. But the thing about it is, there's a, a man that will live for eternity that lives on the inside of us. And if he don't get right, we ain't right. That's our heart, our spirit. And our spirit is what's got to be born again. Our flesh is just the earth suit to keep us down here on this earth. If something goes haywire about it, the spirit's going to go out of here less like a satellite launching into orbit. It's gone. But the spirit is going to live forever. This body is going to go back to the dust where it was taken. And I'm saying all that to say this. Our spirit's what we've got to be concerned about here on this earth. Not, not our bodies so much. And they, we, we take, bring a lot of scriptures out here to help our bodies. And that's important because God wants us to house this spiritual man in a good place. And if we don't, then we can't do what we're supposed to do for God and can't present God the way we're supposed to present him to people. So I'm happy. Are you? I'm happy. I'm glad to be here. I want everybody at will uh, starting out to turn to the book of Acts and I want to read this and and this will be a good guideline for all of us to go by and I've read it before and uh, but I like this scripture. It says in Acts 17 verse 11 said these were more noble. Read it with me. All of you that's watching and listening I want to I'll tell you how much I appreciate you. How much I'm glad that you're receiving of the Word of God and how much that your lives is being changed. I hear reports about listening to the broadcast, not necessarily listening to me, but uh, people's lives are being changed. People are being, being delivered and set free. And, and I, I appreciate how God's doing that. I mean, I'm glad that I can be a part of that. Glad that God loves us and and that there's a place to where that the word can go out like this. But I want you to get your notebooks out or some paper and your Bibles. And it'd be good just like you was at church. Sit there on your recliner and, and uh, wherever you're at. And just write down these scriptures and study them. You need to look into them to see if they're what we present them to be or not. And it says here in verse 11, Acts 17, said, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. They didn't just receive the word because somebody told them about it. They searched the scriptures out after they had heard it to see if they were so. So that is what we all are obligated to do. Our obligation is it's to search the scriptures out and to make sure that they're right. 
I mean, that's what we're obligated to do, Brenda. It's for ourselves. We can't, we can't, this hidden man of the heart, this real me and the real you, Brandon, the real you, Kenneth, we, we can't give account for nobody else. It's for ourselves. And you that's watching and listening, they ain't nobody else can get you into heaven, even if you listen and watch the good Word of God broadcast 24 hours a day. You've got to be the one that guards your spirit and feeds your spirit and takes care of your spirit. Nobody else can't do that for you. Everybody say hallelujah. hallelujah. All that means is just praise ye the Lord. Hail Yah. Yah is God's name. Yahweh. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's good. <laughs> He's good to us. I want to kind of go over where I went a little last week. 